One of the powerful new things in Autoplay Media Studio is the gallery. That's a pane that's available to you here. Uh, for example, let's both go to the same workspace layout so we can be working on the same thing here. So we'll go to workspace layout, compact, and you will see the gallery pane here in the center of the right. If you are in a workspace layout where you don't see it, you can go here to the view, gallery, checkbox. So basically we want to make sure that this is checked so that you can see it. Okay, so let's take a look at the gallery. I'm going to go ahead and pin it by clicking on the little pin in the upper right hand corner here. And I'm actually going to unpin my properties inspector here on the on the left just to get rid of it. Okay, you'll see right away in the gallery, and I'm going to pull mine out, that there's a little set of icons along the top here. These correspond to the different sections of the gallery. And you'll also notice that Indigo Rose has provided a large amount of content within the gallery of all different types, backgrounds, photos, buttons, um, all sorts of stuff to get you going. This stuff is from the Style Workshop collection at styleworkshop.com and you can pick up a lot more content uh, if you want there anytime, real cheap. It's great stuff, it's professional stuff and uh, you know I think you can get the whole 5 CD set for under $200 which is just amazing because it's royalty free stuff and uh, basically it'll keep you in backgrounds for the next five years but at any rate we're going to take a quick look at these icons here these allow you to quickly surf between the different sections of the gallery for example buttons images videos flash audio scriptlets and docs so if we click on the images tab it sends us into the images section here we can go for example into the abstract section and surf through and pick ourselves up a background or something and if we want to view the content as we go along here we can either pick a workspace that contains um, both panes the uh, resource preview and the gallery or we can create one in our case we're going to go to workspace layouts designer and this allows us to preview stuff in real time so for example here if I pull this area up uh, to resize it there we go as I click on these objects and move around with them I actually see a preview so if I wanted to look for a page background for example this is a great way and when I drag it onto the page if the size of the image is quite large it's going to ask us if we want to make it a background So, for example if I drag this on here it'll ask us and I'm going to say yes. You can set a tolerance for this in your preferences too. If you would like it to be say 70% of page size for it to ask this or 60% etc. So you can also turn it off by pressing the don't ask me again feature. But I'm going to go ahead and press yes. In this particular case if I go to the closed workspace layout to preview this view workspace layout closed you'll see it looks pretty good. So let's go back to our gallery so we'll go to View, Workspace Layout, Designer, and we're going to take a look at some of the other areas of the gallery here. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this stuff up again. And you'll see here that we've got the button section. You can preview the buttons. They're ready to go, ready to add to your projects. The image section. The video section, which contains only one video by default. The flash section, which we've actually included several movies for you to get started. For example, this globe is very cool. You can actually set the text that goes spinning around this globe. Um, the hand is also very cool. You can actually add your own text to this button. But at any rate, we'll move on here. We've got the audio section which contains some effects that we've provided for you. Um, for example, for buttons and page transitions as well as some loops from the Liquid Cabaret Music Collection. And that's another great thing to check out at liquidcabaret.com amazing music just amazing music and it's very very cheap you can buy those royalty free CDs and add that music to as many projects as you want I can't say enough good things about the liquid cabaret collection in our scriptlets area here you can see we've got a variety of short scriptlets that we can add to our projects and we'll be looking at those later on and in our docs area you can see we've got a variety of documents here that accompany, accompany um, a sample project. Okay, so that's our gallery, and basically it's a quick and easy way for 
you to organize your content. You can add content to the gallery anytime you want in your project folder. And it's a quick, easy way for you to browse through large amounts of content and select just the content that you need and then drag it onto your stage. And with the resource preview pane open at the same time, you can get that real-time preview of it all. It's a really amazing uh, resource that they've built into the new version, and I hope you all find a lot of use for it.